This video demonstrates how to rotate a text cell in an Excel workbook using the OpenPixel library from Python. Here we can see the testing document wherein we have a string of text in cell C3. It is currently displaying without any text rotation, as would any text that you have just entered into any cell of your workbook. I will use Python to rotate the text two different directions. Here I bring in my workbook as WB and I select that worksheet as WS. I will then be saving the work in the cell below. Rotating cell text requires us to bring in the alignment object from the OpenPixel.Styles module. Now before we use this alignment object on the cell, let's see what the current alignment is for the cell of interest to us. We can view that current alignment with the cell's alignment attribute. Here we see that the alignment attribute is an alignment object. So to change it, we just need to assign the attribute a new alignment object. One of the parameters that we see in the object is text rotation, which is currently assigned a zero. We can change the rotation of the text in the cell by supplying an integer to this parameter. The first rotation we will look at is assigning the text rotation argument 90. Assigning text rotation to 90, as you can see, has now pivoted the text counterclockwise, so the rotating text has to be read upward. Let's now assign text rotation to be 180, so that we're pivoting the text downward, and we have to read from top to bottom. And here we see our expected result. And as you might suspect, if we want to return the text to its original position, all we need to do is reassign this text rotation argument zero. So as you can see, it is quite easy. All you have to do is import the alignment object, then access the alignment attribute of the cell that you want to affect, assigning that attribute an object with the text rotation argument of your choice. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments if this was helpful, and do let me know what other features of OpenPixel or Python in general you would like to see reviewed in future videos. And hit that subscribe button so that you can know when the next video releases.